Welcome to Ahead of the Game, the Rugby World Cup 2019 prediction show. It's brought to you by Mega Master, and we're coming to you from Pirnev Skral, the beautiful venue in Linwood, Pretoria. First off, congratulations to Danny Murphy for winning that amazing Mega Master Granite Edition Gas Bride to the value of 7999. Now remember, the Springboks put on 66 points against Canada. That means you will get a 66% discount on certain products on the Mega Master website. So head on over to megamaster.co.za to check out that catalog. So in tonight's episode, our guests are the one and only Jacques de Villiers from Jos and Adirien. Welcome. Thanks, man. It's nice to be here. Nice to have you here. <laughs> are you ready to talk a bit of rugby? Um, I'm going to give you what I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be something, I'm sure. Nice to have you here. Thanks, man. Jacobi Adrianse, welcome. Thank you very much. Nice, nice having you. Here. Yeah, awesome, man. And Warren Whiteley? Why don't you? Nice Thank having you, you Jens, here. Yeah. It's World Cup time, obviously. It's an amazing spirit, I think, uh, the whole World Cup fever has caught on in South Africa and we, we're progressing nicely. Uh, Jock, have you watched any of the matches? I've watched a few, but as um, I was <laughs> saying to some of the people before the time, uh, before the show, it's kind of difficult. I mean, like, if you have to pick up kids and the match is like 12, yes. 30 in the afternoon. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. But at least there are highlights to watch. Yeah. Friends to listen to, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Some, some yeah, advice. Yeah, 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 but yeah I, sure. I agree with you. I think it's a, it's a great time. Mm. And especially, like, where, I mean, a lot of bad stuff happening in a country. And I think that's something that binds us together, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. it still is. After all these years, I think, in a, and it started for us as a, as a country. And that's what we, mm. that's what Mega Mouse is trying to do with this whole thing is, is celebrate rugby with, uh, or as a, as, a, as a tool that was utilized by, you know, by Madiba and Franz Pinard back in the days. And it's still happening. It's amazing. World Cup time. And, and, and it's, I think it's bringing together a lot of people. How are you guys finding the World Cup thus far and the, and the Springboks campaign? Are you excited? Yeah, uh, definitely. And I think, as you said, the Springboks are doing well. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole positive vibe around. I think the whole build-up we had, uh, beating the All Blacks. And mm. so there's a real positive vibe and the fans is, are excited about it. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's good to watch. It's good to see the boys doing well. Yeah, and I think we're we're lying good on the on the lock. Looks like we're going to finish probably about second mm. with playoffs coming up. And yeah, there's a whole nice positive vibe around that. So Warren, you've also got kids. Is also picking up and and all the household duties. I suppose have you been able to watch any of the games? I have. I've been able to negotiate every now and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. with the wife. Because that's what it, it, it takes. You have, you have to make a plan. You yeah. Know? So no, it's it's been very exciting and. The openness of the World Cup, I think that's what I've enjoyed there. Yeah. You know, there are five, six teams um, that are in with the chance. So the Springboks are going well mm. and um, I think it's exciting. Eh? Really, yeah. really building up to, to the quarterfinals. So excited. And how exciting is it for, a, for the host nation to, to be on the brink of, of something amazing? And, and they've, uh, if to all accounts, have been hosting an incredible World Cup, an incredible event, and the Japanese people are so amazing. They've been. It must do something for a player's morale when you get to a tournament or to any sort of event uh, to have that uh, that vibe going on. That expect the expectation is high, but there's also an energy. It must do something in your mind. Yeah, and uh, I think that the Japanese people are so amazing. They really go the extra mile. We saw them practicing the South African anthem, for uh, instance, yeah. and doing that. Yes with all the national sides. I mean, that's yeah. that's incredible. Um, mm. Amazing, amazing country. We've seen them um, in World Cups cleaning up the stadiums completely, mm. all the Japanese people. Amazing culture, and I think it's it's definitely going to be one of the best World Cups come the end of the World Cup, and um, yeah. amazing vibe. I mean, all the stadiums are pretty much sold out. Yeah, amazing, eh? So, Jock, have you learned all the anthems of the different countries? In all the languages, yeah. Yes. I did, man. Would you, would you be able no, to demonstrate? Which one would you like to, yeah. I think, uh, let's start off with Georgia. That's an easy one. Yes. <laughs> no, I know a song called Georgia. <laughs> yes, Georgia on my mind. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, I'll sing that one. It's pretty you much... play it, I'll sing it. Okay, you play it, I'll sing it. I'll hum it. <laughs> Give them Annabelle. <laughs> so, we put on 66 points on the board against Canada. Uh, were any of you guys expecting a game like that? What, what stood out in that game for you? I think uh, it was... At, I'd sort of expect that I must say from my ex extended rugby knowledge that we're going to take it take it and, and win it by at least a, 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 a great margin. Uh, did that game live up to any expectations? Yeah, I actually had a, a 65 points difference on Super Bruce. So wow. I, I was hey, quite close. I was quite close. <laughs> Luckily, I'm humble about it. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think for about 35 minutes, just the attacking flair the guys showed and intent was unbelievable. And I, I, you could see when they had that red card early in the first half, there was a bit of a, 
won't say a lapse, but a bit of a downward in intensity, which yeah. is except probably expected yeah. from the boys. But yeah, for for about 35 minutes, I don't think the the, the Canadians even had the ball. No. Pretty much, we yeah. we kept the ball, and when we mm. kick contestable kicks, we just managed to take it back with yeah. ease. So yeah. that was that was very nice to see um, from yes. the guys. Is it is it something that that will maybe in a in a professional team or at that level that you will slow down a bit in inverted commas uh, to to sort of uh, you know rest a bit maybe for the for the for the upcoming games is there something like that no, or will it geez. always be go full out uh, yeah. you know intensity I think that's, that's for eighty minutes? That's probably the difference between you know the the top sides mm. um, is is that they can put teams away mm. and that that's really important if, yeah. it, if a team deserves 80, 80 points they need mm. to get 80 points yeah. and look it is difficult when there is a red card because mentally as a player on the mm. field you kind of expect to win this game quite comfortably yeah. and especially with the way the Springboks started the game even when Canada had 15 players on the on, on the park yeah. I mean they were they were incredible I thought we controlled the game really really well um, and also the team that, that Rossi picked was probably our most dynamic team we've mm. picked in this World Cup with guys like um, Skulk, Skulk Brits. Yeah, um, still there. Yeah, there with Kwaha, yeah. Skulk Brits, Kwaha, Arches Neyman, guys that can offload, mm. um, guys that are fit and agile and athletic. Uh, Kubis Reinach scoring that hat-trick, which was unbelievable to see. And Elton with that cross-kick, um, which was phenomenal. So I think there was really some brilliant tries at the, the box. Yeah. Will we see that sort of, uh, hopefully, <laughs> in the quarters and the semis, do you think we're going to, well, I'm saying semis, I'm just, you know, putting it out there. We are, going to, we are definitely going to the semifinals, at least. <laughs> Will we see that sort of uh, beautiful running rugby uh, into this, going to the semis and the uh, quarters and the semis? Yeah, I, I would like to think that, but obviously it, it, it all depends on who you play. I mean, um, uh, the game... The game invo evolved a lot. Uh, defense lines is is coming harder at you. So, yeah. I think the guys have a good balance at the moment. They won't try and run out of our own 22. But if it's on, they'll have a crack. So that yeah. I think that's that's nice to see. I think there was a few times, especially against the Canadians, um, where I felt the kick throughs and we turned them we turned them well. And uh, I think that was almost like a kind of preparation for us going into the playoffs to be able to to play in their half put their set piece under pressure and um, so yeah it's a nice to have that to have that balance and I think um, as a coach if you think of a coaching perspective uh, to try and um, coach against that yeah. uh, so what do you do you kind of counter the attacking game the kicking game yeah so it's nice that they have that they have that balance and yeah. Like I said, if you make a mistake, we'll put points on the board. Either Andre will kick three points or we'll go for the corner. So I think our game plan is um, really suited to, to the players we have and also to World Cup rugby. Um, coming into a quarter, a semi and a final, the margins are so small. And um, defensively, we've been very, very strong. Yeah. We've seen how, how well we've played. I mean, against the All Blacks, it, um, look, it was two mistakes we made two errors it could have gone they, either way it could have gone either way and, and they capitalized on that and i mean they are looking strong and attacking wise they are exceptional the all blacks but i i don't know i'm, I'm optimistic i think the the yeah. box can go all the way it looks good eh? I, I, especially with our defense eh? yeah. as, as you yeah. said now yeah. we yeah. haven't really leaked many tries yes we've put was it like a, a, a zero or a three or a nine year in there yeah. exactly so it's really difficult for the team to score against i think You'll probably know it better than me. As a defensive unit, you kind of get confidence from that. So suddenly you're under pressure, you know, like flipping. We've been here before yeah. and they haven't gone through. Yeah. So we can put you under pressure, turn over the ball and then, yeah, capitalize on that again. Yeah. So I think uh, 95, and I like to do this, do you guys actually remember that 95, obviously you remember the World Cup final. Do you remember exactly where you were or what you were doing? Jacobi? Yeah, actually, um, I was grade four. Okay. It's funny that most of the guys playing with me now weren't even born yet, so <laughs> <it> feels <laughs> a bit. When Noel was on here the other evening, he was two years old. Yeah, when it the feels finals, it feels so. a bit intimidated when you yeah. uh, talk back that far. They but call yeah, you yeah, we, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They just once, <laughs> and the next time they they don't do it again. Um, but yeah, we were actually at my grandfather's farm, me and my brother, and we still had that uh, 
Leon Schuster type, but I don't know yeah. if you yeah. When we won the he final on the yes. Wi-Fi, he got me booked. Yes. Yeah. No, so it was very special. Yeah, I can exactly everyone dancing around yeah. around the fire. So wow. no, it was a, a very wow, very nice memory. Awesome. Warren? Same. I can vividly remember it. Yeah. Um, I think what what really stands out for me is um, often late in the afternoon. For some reason, we had always got to spa. He didn't want to end copies now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and that was milky. always like an outing with with my dad. And we always knew everyone at spa. You know, you kind of had a relationship with the manager, and my dad always knew everyone there. And I remember on the way to spa, just people hooting yeah. with South African flags yes. flying out yeah. the window and getting in, in, into spa. And it was just like this this vibe. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was. I think it was a really momentous occasion for all South Africans. You know, uh, a symbol of unity in our country yes. and yeah. a really wow. special moment um, for all of us. Not just the sport, mm. not just rugby. No, um, but huge for our country. Yeah. yeah, but sport as the vehicle for that. And yes. there's few things that can do that, like sport. I mean, music probably on the on the one hand, but sport's got a it's got a special. Pl- I mean, even for <laughs> musicians like like you that. <laughs> That you, I mean, sport was never on the cards in terms of no. dog. I don't yeah. know, but maybe you. Say so like you're sportive. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not <laughs> insinuating. I mean, there is sport has got a very special. It's a special vehicle for mm. something like for bringing people together. That unity thing. It's it's absolutely yeah. amazing. No, we were actually speaking this afternoon about what actually inspires us to do what we're doing. I mean, as a human being, what is yeah. what is that thing that actually makes you get up in the morning and say, did I'm going to write a song or did I want to do that? And I think for us and for anyone who, who, who does something because they really love it and the change is actually unity. Yeah. I think to, to bring a world together, you know, and I think, mm. yeah. It happened. It happened in 95 at least. It brought a country together yeah. uh, by a few dedicated individuals. Definitely. Amazing. So how exciting is this? Japan, the host nation, ending top of their pool and we're playing... Japan in a quarterfinal of a rugby World Cup. It, it's 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 still it still is a bit mind blowing. I mean, but maybe that's what home ground does, eh? It, yeah. But I mean, it's they deserve it. it you want them to succeed. Mm. They've, they've, <laughs> they've since they've since they won the Springboks. I mean, it's still a bit of a, of a sore point. But it it, it it leveled the playing ground for for smaller teams. They showed other 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 teams that it can be done. Jock, I've heard you spoke about competition in that way. Competition should show. It should be inspiring. constructive, inspiring. Mm. It should show you that you can also do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it's when it's when it's fair. Yeah. Competition is inspiring. Right? Yes. Yeah. And, and that's, I think, the Japanese show that. The top of their log. We're playing, they're playing the mighty Springboks to their mind. What do you guys, uh, <laughs> it's, it's nervous, it's nervous, but it's amazing. We're playing Japan in a quarterfinal of a World Cup. Yeah, what do you think's uh, going to happen? It's unbelievable. Like, first time in history. Yes. And I think uh, everyone always loves the underdog. We've, oh, yes. We've all been there, yeah. odds yeah. against you. And yeah. I think that's why you kind of live yourself into that situation. Um, but to be honest with you, I think the Japanese. It's going to be a tough game, yeah. but I can't see them really putting that much pressure on the Springboks. Mm-hmm. They'll definitely be coming out the first 20 minutes, yeah. guns blazing, fire blowing out of everywhere. Yeah. But I think if we can kind of just ride that storm yeah. and put them to the sword early, I can't see them really keeping in the game for longer than 60 minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's especially with our strong, strong defense. With our strong game, pack, yeah. and our pack especially. Yeah. If, I mean, if we start scrumming them, if we start mauling them, then we kind of get the heart out of them and take yeah. the sting out of it. But it's, it's still going to be a tough game. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you can think these, these guys have been preparing for this game basically for four years. Yeah. Yeah. Their friends are calling them, their neighbors are calling them. So this is this is the kind of intensity they're gonna bring to the game. So now I'm I'm very, very excited yeah. to to see how, how they go and how the game plays out. We'll be close. We played them in that pre World Cup warm up mm. match. Yeah. And you know, we, we dominated, but it, I believe this this is gonna be tougher. Um, the conditions were a bit different and um, you, you know they tried to run the ball probably more than what they should have and defensively we put a lot of pressure on them and they made a lot of mistakes and we capitalized and we beat them by 40 40 odd points Um, i think this time around they they're going to be smarter Mm. they tactically they're they're going to kick more um definitely not going to play as much in their own half just because of the strength of our pack and our set piece 
Um, if they make a mistake there, scrum or line out time, I believe we, we've got dominance over them. And that's where ultimately, like Yakubi said, um, that's where the game is going to go after. You know, I believe it's going to be close and they're going to come out guns blazing. Yeah. But um, no, I believe the Springboks should, should win it quite comfortably. Yeah, I, th I think we'll, we'll take it, obviously. Mm. But you want, you want the Japanese to... To do well, at yeah, least, yeah, in this yeah, game. Yeah. Not that well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not that well. Just, I think well. We, we should still assert uh, our dominance uh, in this game. So, Jock, do you have a score prediction for this one? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. 32-17. That's a that's, good score. That's, that's a very uh, good score. Yeah. Uh, Jacobi? I actually th had a quite similar... <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm yeah, thinking about 38... Mm -hmm. 12. I think, yeah, we have a very good defensive system at the moment, so I can't see them putting us under too much pressure there, yeah. so cool. I'll go with that. That's a, that's a good one. Or 20, I think it'll be a bit more low scoring. Okay. I don't think they'll score a lot of points, um, and we'll score three tries, mm -hmm. a couple conversions, uh, um, and a penalty or two. Uh, I reckon about 28-12. Okay, so... 28-12. I'm going to go as a self-appointed rugby uh, uh, a couch critic. Master. master. Master, obviously. Of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, 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 we don't even have to go into that. Um, I think there's going to be a couple of runaway tries at the end. 42-13. Wow. Yeah, I'm going big with this one. And plus, I want 42% discount on a Mega Master <laughs> ride. So. <laughs> so now we've given our predictions. You can give yours in the comment section here below. And the first closest score prediction will win that incredible Mega Master Granite Edition gas prize to the value of 799. But remember, even if you don't win this, you can still win when the box score. Mega Master is backing the box in such a way that they're giving away a percentage for every point the box put on the board. Remember, we scored 66 points against Canada in the last game. So I want to thank my incredible guest tonight, Jock from Yoshanadi Rian. Thank you so much for, for sharing your insights on the... On, on, <laughs> it's been a privilege, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a privilege having you here. Jacobi Adrianse, thank you for your time and for your insights. Yeah, thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. And Warren Whiteley, Thank you, guys. Thank it's, you. Uh, it's been a lucky one. Awesome. Jock, are you going to sing us anything? Ach, man. That's a belief. As long as you sing with me. Ach, you it. Okay. I go on. You know, I'll, I'll. And look, we have two guitars. So. My <laughs> word. It, isn't that an Let's amazing it, coincidence? Uh, do you know that song, Wake Me Up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jokubi can sing, by the way. Yes, yes. Unbelievable whoa, 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 whoa. voice. Okay, but in that unbelievable that's voice. more like a karaoke after 10 beers. So look, it, is, <laughs> it is. It is World Cup in Japan. We should, we should just... Uh, What's that song? Something in Japan. Love is in Japan. Or yeah. Is it yeah. I think what I love about this song is the fact that I think life is an uncertain place to be. You know? Yeah. Like with the World Cup. Like with the World Cup. But I think um, if you have passion for what you're doing, you know, and this is what this song is about. Wake me up. Feeling my way through the darkness. Guided by a beating heart I can tell where the journey will end But I know where it starts Tell me I am too young to understand Say I'm caught up in a dream If I don't open my eyes Well that's fine by me So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself And I, I didn't know Didn't know I was love. I try carrying the weight of the world. But I only have two hands 
Jag känner dig igen. Leon Grob. Läkar vi bra. And that's it for this episode of Ahead of the Game, the Rugby World Cup 2019 prediction show. And it was brought to you by Megamaster, together made better.